Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Stefania. Thank you so much for finding me here. Sending you all so much love and so much light. I hope you're all having a beautiful week so far. So as I was meditating upon this week's energy for the collective, I was feeling this very strong energy around negative thinking, surrendering negative thinking, and also being in greater awareness of negative energy. So we do have, not coincidentally, Thanksgiving uh, here in the US in the, in the next couple of days, and that means being, being around family, being around, you know, um, loved ones. And of course we love our loved ones, but, um, sometimes, you know, not our, our loved ones or our family members don't always see us in the highest light. Sometimes, uh, you have to leave the family nest in order to be seen, in order to teach, in order to, um, you know, reach for the stars and be the star. In fact, Jesus had to leave Nazareth you know, the people of Nazareth when he was growing up, they just thought he was the, like the strange kid next door. They didn't know at that time that he was the Messiah. He had to leave Nazareth in order to connect into his oneness, ascend and awaken, and then of course become the greatest master of all time. Oh, I love and adore so much. Um, so this energy is all about being very mindful of negative energies and people who may love you but don't always have, don't always understand you or don't always, um, you know, don't always think the same way that you think, etc. And so, you know, I always, pr provocative conversation and being together with people is always something, you know, it's always something that I love to do, but it's, you know, be mindful of other people's energies. That's what this message is all about. It's also about, you know, we're coming up in this new moon here in the next 24 hours. And I feel like it's a beautiful, beautiful, spontaneous, gorgeous full moon full of enthusiasm. And so it's a beautiful time to set your intentions, to really sit down and connect with and think about, okay, what have I been through this year? What am I ready to slam the door on? Who am I ready to slam the door on? And what am I calling in, attracting in for 2023. You're ready for the next level. You're ready for leveling up in all areas. So this doesn't mean just solely career. This is also leveling up in your own healthy boundaries, within your own God confidence, etc. And so be mindful of other people's energies because, and, and also who you tell your dreams and desires and in your ideas to, because not everybody's going to have your high, you know, not everybody's going to have your highest and greatest good in mind. Unfortunately, um, we do live in a world collectively where, you know, jealousy, fear, doubt, anxiety, all of that stuff is very predominant in the collective. And so if somebody has this amazing way, and, you know, not everybody's always happy. The first thing they think of is, well, why is it, why, why did it happen for them and not me? You know, like there's, that's a very common thing that I see. And so I feel like, you know, you know what I'm going to say, <laughs> be, be really conscious of your meditation practice. Your daily practice is your best practice, going into the silence, going into the source, allowing the beautiful spirit of the love, light, the divine, the creative energy that you are made of to flow through you and allow your loving soul to guide you and be in the presence, be meditative in your existence, surrender negative thinking and really be in the awareness of what you want to create what you want to draw in and attract to you for 2023. And as I was just saying that, the Emperor card falls out of the deck. Oh, Tarot Tuesday, by the way. Um, this is why I love Tarot, because the Tarot is energy and pictures. It always picks up in the energy. So here I'm asking the universe for reading, and I'm getting the Emperor, and I'm just ta I'm, I was just literally talking about embodying the light, the way, the truth, leveling up in all areas of your life and knowing who you really are and commanding, commanding for 
success, commanding forth abundance, happiness, joy, love, and letting go of situations, situationships, things, people who are no longer serving you, etc. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. As you do, Wheel of Fortune energy is a new cycle beginning, a brand new beginning, and also really good luck. I also feel like there's news, some kind of news, communication. This may not resonate for everybody, but I do feel like there could be some news and communication around this new beginning that you're trying to manifest. So that's exciting. I'll just put a couple more. It's going to validate, I feel, what I've been talking about. Let's see if I'm right. <laughs> and I only, I only pull jumpers, so let's see what jumps out. Communication. I, I was just talking about communication. I feel like there's communication here. What is this communication about? It's so communicating with yourself from a higher perspective and being strong in the energy. But I also feel like for some of you, this, this could be... Um, Something that you have been ruminating on or, you know, something that you weren't sure about, I feel is coming to light around this new moon energy. So, and I feel like it's to validate that you were right about something. And also, um, this is Ace of Wands, two aces here around new beginnings, dynamic new beginnings. So I love this energy for you. Last card. I see my tree up in the back. I just put it up yesterday. Thanksgiving. I always put it up at Thanksgiving. And here you are working Eight of Pentacles, um, paying attention to the details, preparing for your dreams, desires, and destinies, bringing them into alignment and fulfillment into the new year 2023. That's what all this new moon energy is all about. So I love this for you. Now, I'm going to pull a unicorn blessing card for you. My tree's not done. I have to put up the ornaments. <laughs> All right, waiting for a jumper. They don't want to talk, they don't want to jump, so maybe I'll let these cards go. Let's go to the Animal Spirit deck. Who wants to, oh, that one just flew right out. <sighs> Elephant, I have to read this, greatness. Greatness, greatness. Love is your strength, leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. Hello, thank you. This is you letting go of the old nonsense, surrender negative thinking, negative people, moving into a brand new cycle. Use this beautiful energy of this new moon to set amazing epic intentions. Remember, you are attracting, you're not chasing. What is meant for you will not pass you by. Be in alignment with the divine and I'm sending you so much love and so much light. Don't forget to click and subscribe with the little button and I will see you all next week. Have a beautiful, happy and blessed Thanksgiving and let us all live in grace and gratitude to be alive yet another day. So it is, namaste.